I welcome you viewers as we reflect together from the Open Heavens Daily Guide written by Pastor E.A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Patrick Tolani. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. And today we are glad to be having the reflection and the topic is provision before need. Provision before need. And the Bible passage is second or two Peter, uh, chapter one, verses one to four. Now Simon Peter, a bond servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have obtained like precious faith with us by the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. As his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue, by which you have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through this you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world. A memory verse 2 Peter 1 3. As his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue. Now, Pastor Deboe identified that there are three different times an individual can receive assistance to meet a need. The first is before a need arises. The second is during the period when the need is there. And the third is after the need has arisen. When there is already provision before the need arises, then the need is just addressed effortlessly. We shall come back to this because this is the best place to be and this is where God also wants us to be. The reason we can say this is because God made provision for us all we might need even before we were created. Now the second is during the period when the need arises. This is why the Bible says that God makes all things beautiful in his own time. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11. And this is what is described as just in time. Just in time. There are times when the assistance that is needed is only available when it is already late. We have heard about cases of people who got their letter of employment into lucrative jobs after they had died. As a matter of fact, I had the privilege of meeting one of the bishops in his official residence and we were just talking about the size of his house compared to the number of people living in the house. And he said to me jocularly that the irony of becoming a bishop particularly in one of the big Orthodox churches, is that you become a bishop only in your latter years, when all your children are already grown up and they've left home. Now, the massive accommodation is only available after the need for it is no longer there. As I'm, we maintained earlier, it is always better to be in a position whereby your needs are met before they arise. This is possible with the abundance of God. According to the memory verse of today, we can have access to all that pertains to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue. We have promises which can translate into abundance for us if we have the knowledge of him and we're able to translate that knowledge to benefit us. Some people will never get to this level due to lack of faith, due to laziness, and lack of proper financial planning. Those who spend without restraint will never attain this level in life. To get to this level where all your needs are met before they arise, we require having the knowledge, working in knowledge, and ensuring that you work in spiritual, financial principles. There are indeed spiritual 
financial principles. For instance, the principle of sowing and reaping. The principles of laying your treasure where moth and other things cannot destroy it. Our key point, what some people waste daily is more than enough to feed several needy, hungry people. To trigger blessings from the Lord, such excesses should be spent on meeting the needs of others. The good Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Please have a wonderful day. Amen.